Hey guys, okay, so <clears throat> we have today lots, oh dang, I need to go turn this in. Okay, outfit check, I got a fluffy jacket because it's like so cold and it's just like this undershirt that has like little diamonds and just black pants and shoes, nothing fancy. So I've got my setup for face painting. We did yesterday, let me show you really quick. We had already gone through the brush strokes and what brushes do for what. We introduced the split cake palettes today or yesterday, and we introduced. Uh, we I talked about all like the different types of face painting stuff, and we introduced the sponge. These sponges, they're like you know the art sponge and stuff. Y'all, I need to get rid of the nail polish. Um, and so we did the rainbow here. I'm oh, sorry, the rainbow there, and then we did um, the outlining. And then we did just some techniques on uh, the paper. Then they had a chance to play on this sheet here. And today we're gonna continue with this new, um, from here, this back part, we're gonna continue. Um, it's front and back, so we don't waste. Usually I do this on cardstock. I don't know why I didn't do it on cardstock this time and why I did it front and back. Cause you know, the wrinkly in the water, I don't know why I did that. Maybe just a safe paper this time. I'm not sure. But I have three packets. I don't know what happened to my fifth period packet, so I got a new one. But I label them um, fifth, sixth, and seventh period. So that way, for example, seventh period didn't get to do the spider. They did something different. Um, and we've because just generally, I will. Just this time, I have a student that doesn't celebrate, so I didn't want to add the spider web to it. Um, so that was yesterday. Today we're doing the full coverage uh, application technique and then the spot application with a little fairy, the full face, half face, and then uh, a little bit more intricate design of the step-by-step -step of the unicorn, how to put shapes together, how to outline it to create those techniques um, and designs, to use the techniques to create the design. So I have my stuff here. I need to get my cup of water. The kits finally came in. Um, this is the order I placed in July, I believe. There's still a lot of things missing from this kit, unfortunately, but at least the kit is in. And from the first original kit, there's two items missing from the facial kit, the nail kit, all the stuff has come in. I got all my Day of the Dead stuff here that I'm gonna need to go ahead and put away. Um, and I've got uh, the new setup for Thanksgiving for fall. Um, I have these that I need to grade. Uh, so I've not graded them. And then the little prizes I'm giving away for nail art now. That was for the Halloween one. And this is for the um, Day of the Dead. But when we took these, the ones that were painted to the altar, I can't find them now because I had class yesterday. And um, they cleaned it up. But after the class at 5, I went to go clean it up. But the stuff is gone. So I don't know where it's at. Hopefully we find it. So I went ahead and the board is ready. That was... We're working for nail on nail stuff. The projector is still not fixed, but the TV is here. The kids say they like the TV better because it's more clear and it is more clear than the actual projector on the walk that has, you know, it's bumpy. The camera's not, you know, as the quality is less. So they really like the TV better. So because I had the TV screen that I need to connect to the wall, which I do have an extension cord, but what holds me to this side and why I don't have this in the front is because I need to connect it to my computer, which is here. And so this is the cord. And so that's why it's got to be on this side. And so I changed the setup of the table of the rooms of the tables. So this got two on the sides and I've got some two rows here. I had a space in between, but the kids moved it. They like to move stuff. So that's that. Oh, I got to take these down. Um, and so that is, oh no, it went back there. I got to go pick it up. Okay, so then I've got the brushes, the split cakes, and then um, this is Global, is a brand I buy from Amazon, and then these are all the Nazaru um, palettes, or, or uh, pots. I got a basket because they're just kind of all over the place, and so paint uh, cups for the water, which I need to get my cup for my water. I've got paper towels and just the extra worksheets. Um, and then I have these sponges soaking. We're gonna talk about uh, proper cleanup today. So that is that, that's why that's there. And then I've got, these are the mannequin heads. That pink one was really good. That one's really good. That one's really nice. That one's good. 
these are good there's some that you know they didn't the artwork on that is pretty well done the diamonds on that there's some that are really good I like this one didn't celebrate so she does a panda but I think she could have done a little bit better job or a little bit more elaborate so you know just gonna grade accordingly I still have my nail art stuff out here which I am not gonna put away because I do need to put away the little cloth thing here because um, that was Day of the Dead but um, I'm not going to put away all of my nail art supplies because we are going to be working. The students have the November nail art competition that they're going to be working on and they need nail supplies, nail art supplies. So why put it away when they're going to ask me for it? I'm going to have to go take it out anyway. So I'm just going to leave that on the tabletop. Plus it looks, you know, when someone walks in here, they're like, ooh, what are y'all working on? It says minus 10 points. My work is always minus 10 points each day. It's late. So these people turned it in on time. I had to separate it because it started getting mixed up. These people turned them in a day late. So these are five points off right, right on the back. And then these people turned it in two days late. So I'm going to put minus 10 points off. Um, and uh, that way I can keep track, right? So I'm going to collect all of them and then I'm going to do a little display with them. So that's why I have that. Um, so the ones outside of the bag were late. The ones inside of the bag, they turned in on time. So sometimes, you know, you don't have time to sit down and grade something, but you need time to do other things and you need to be able to separate your things. Even if like you have another baggie, these were turned it on Monday, turn it on Tuesday, turn it on Wednesday whatever or put them in a rubber band or tag them somehow to help you stay organized i need to make a phone call uh, okay i need to make a phone call but i think it's going to be a little bit too late so we're just not gonna not gonna go there we're just not gonna have time i went to um fairmont nutrition it's this place on fairmont that sells shakes Look, and they put cute little, it's not focusing, cute little sayings, and this one says, keep growing. I kind of need that. I do, I need to keep growing. I need to learn more techniques and teach the students more and, you know, that kind of stuff. And I feel like you always have to, like, raise, I'm back and forth on this. I feel like every year as a teacher, as an educator, as an instructor, I feel like you need to learn what's new out there, what the new trends are. And you, you need to be aware of them and you need to know them, practice them, and then teach them to your students. So I feel like we never stop growing, never start learning, stop learning. Um, and I feel like as soon as you do, like, why, why are we here? But then sometimes I'm like, I'm done. So I'm, I'm on the fence on that sometimes. But no, I, I do feel like everybody should continue to grow and everybody should continue to contribute to their education their knowledge because it is what we as instructors know that help shape the lives of our students if we know a lot and share that with the students they're going to learn a lot whether they master it or not you know that's another thing but if we don't know a lot or we don't know what the current trends are then you're not going to be able to teach it to your students and if your students don't aren't exposed to it or don't know about it or don't practice it or don't master it then why are you teaching Mm -hmm. mm. so good all right so i have the baggies for gifts miss martinez left these behind um so i'm using them up this year i'm trying to use up everything that i have I have a lot of stuff so these are my three um day of the dead top looks and then these are my um houston fashion week alien head design sovereign heads and so i had five of those one was the top design so one is first place <clears throat> and then the rest are just top design so i just write first place on the little baggie it's not focusing y'all uh, i think i moved something and then um there's just three first second third place for the mannequin head now only one got it um so maybe only one brought in it on time 
I mean, there are some others that are really good. That turned it in on time. That's the thing. Like, if they didn't turn it on, on turn it in on time, should I give them the opportunity to be to compete first, second, third place, or like some that turn it in the day late? Can I get them to compete in the first, second, third place? Mm, like, what's fair? But then also too, like some are really good. They just turn them in a day late. Oh, gotta think about that. But anyway, we're gonna have a first place for sure. And then the rest is whatnot. So when I find little things, little prize stuff, then I'll pop them in the bags and then hand them out. So that's what I have. I always keep little gifts and prizes and 